So, let's see. Uh, this one's going to shoot at the dwarf behind you, thinking he's a safer target. Misses terribly. Uh, do you have a shield? Uh, yes. Val? Okay. It's a buckler, so it's only a shield one instead of... Okay, so it doesn't... Okay. Yes, it's... Uh, so that's a miss, and then this one up here fires as well. Uh, one does hit you. Okay. And I... In, Can't exactly do anything. Right, else, you have so a buckler, so you can't do anything about it. Alright, so he hits you at a six. And he needs... Where's his melee bow? Or his bow? Is that five. So that's... Three. He will do... Ten damage... To your... Body. Okay. As the arrow strikes you. And you will need a... Um... Toughness check, or endurance, I think, to oh, resist nice. the poison on the arrow what, tips. What's That's the, what you did with us. What's, what's the modifier? Uh, there is no modifier. Oh. Um... I will reroll it. Okay. Nice. Go. All right. Uh, and then the remaining two archers will fire at the elf. Because they don't see the big deal. And one of them will hit you, elf. But it is a, okay. it is a barely hit. Um, it does seven damage to your... Right arm. Alright. I gotta make endurance. <laughs> no. Alright, so gain a single poison condition. Okay. Which, of course, is not that big of a deal. Poison is, uh, at the end of every round, you take one wound, but you get to make another endurance check, and if you pass any of them, the poison passes through your system. Okay. All right, and does it, does it leave you fatigue after you get rid of it? Yeah. It uh, I think that's that, I think that's only bleed, but let me double check. Uh, well, pretty much all of them do, I believe. Uh, yes. Once all poison conditions are removed, gain a fatigued okay. condition. Okay. There you go then. Oh, also, you suffer a minus ten to all checks. I mean that. Uh. And the, <laughs> yeah. Poison want, is actually really annoying. Yeah, if you want, you can use a fortune point to bump that up to a pass, or so you, or you could always use. Said it's not a big deal. Yeah, you could always you could always resolve it to get just get rid of it. Well, considering I only have one resolve. Yeah, you might want to hang on to that. <laughs> yeah, I will fortune point that to a success. Okay, so no poison. All right, verse stat, you're up. Right, you uh, you see your you see your dwarf friend take an arrow to the back, and he cries out in probably more annoyance than anything else. And a arrow barely I took two damage. I don't give a shit. And uh, I'm the game master here. <laughs> um, and the and the elf gets a uh, venomous scratch across her right arm, but both of them seem okay. Okay, um, I am barely in range of this archer here, so I'm going to launch a flame spike at him. Okay. Jeez, guys. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> All right, you get to pick two more no. goblins. There are no, There is no chill. All right, I will pick um, this guy who I'm in range of. Let me check who else I'm in range of. And then... And then this one over here. All right. All right. So, oh, uh, sorry, enjoy the goblin and turn. This, the burnt goblin's gonna climb back on top of his stump. My willpower bonus is three. Okay, so you will do eight damage to, you said this one, this one, and the archer? Uh, I can't reach the one on the right, so it'd be the one down here. Ah, gotcha, okay. So, the archer, uh, so, okay, you, you raise out your hands, shouting, uh, chanting the winds of magic, uh, uh, tenting them just a little bit with a flash of Akshi, and this small flame darts out from you, and the fur it just splits immediately, narrow uh, zeroing in on the goblins, and the archer b 
barely has time to let out a squeal before the fire just slams into his throat and leaves a burning hole where it used to be and his head topples from his uh, uh, very narrow neck now, collapsing down the trees. This goblin takes an ugly hit of eight. Um, uh, so he'll be at... Okay. And then this goblin also takes a really ugly hit. As the flames slam into both of them, they do manage to narrowly uh, throw their tiny shields up in time to blunt some of the explosion as it runs into them, but they get scorched pretty badly. Drac Frostaxe, you're up. Drac's going to walk over here and murder this goblin. Go for it. Is this a charge? Yeah. Okay. Also, make sure to keep track of your advantage, folks. All right, so you get a really good roll. He has a good roll for Goblin, so he's going to lose um, that 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 competition. So even though I hit three people, it's only one advantage, right? Yes, you only get one advantage. Yep. All right, uh, so you will deal... Oh, right, it's the difference of the two, so I do need to pay attention. All right, so that was a parry check oh, for him. Oh, I should have. Uh, my damage is... Um... Seven. Add seven onto the... the uh, okay, so that... Put that at a 12. He reduces it by... He reduces it by two. So... That's a total of ten. ten. Uh, all right. You run up to him and you bring... Uh, well, what, what do you wield? An axe? Axe, yeah. Okay. It's uh, in the name. <laughs> uh, you uh, run up to him and the goblin pitifully tries to throw up his splintered and burn shield, but you bring your axe swinging down and hack clean through his arm, and then it follows and go, buries itself in his chest, and the goblin lets out a weak gurgle before following o falling over. This is this is the one that was burnt, right? Uh, no. That is oh. this archer over here. Ah, oh. I was gonna yell out something about return business. Wrist, you're up. I bravely go and hide behind that tree stump. Brave Sir Robin. Helmet peeking above it, I will shout out, You can do it, boys! Great job! You're amazing! You got him! And I will make a leadership tech to, to give everyone plus ten to psychology rolls for the round. Okay. <laughs> I, I am not very heroic. No one... <laughs> they all hear the voice, but when they look back for the source of this brave voice, all they see is empty, empty land, and it, it leaves them uninspired. Verb, you're up. All right. Um, so I'm going to zap this guy here. Okay. I gotta get rid of the archers. The one who's a little extra crispy? <laughs> yeah. I gotta finish the job. I don't know, you shouldn't have come back for repeat business. So not much for that one. <sighs> yeah, but it's a crit. Um, miscast? It is also a miscast, that is correct. Damn. So... I'm glad I'm no longer standing next to you. You unleash another bolt of intense lightning, surging forward. Um, well, let's take this one step at a time. Let's roll the crit first. So it's going to hit him in the 36, and mm -hmm. then roll the uh, another d100 to see what the damage is. A 25. Uh, uh, if he's not... Um, what's it called? Then that that's just reduced to like the base bare minimum one, I think. Well, no. He rolled a 45. I already reduced it. Oh, okay. Um, and you've got a 30. He's looking at the table. So it hits him in the right arm, and it goes down to a, 45, or a 25, which is badly jarred arm. He takes two wounds. Uh, what's your willpower bonus? Five. Five, and then that would go up to six. Uh, Alright, the bolt zaps out across uh, the battlefield, and it slams into his arm. And it he clearly, his arm goes limp as the lightning charges through his body until it hits where his heart, you suspect, is. Uh, though you don't know too much about green skin biology. 
and uh, he lets out a weird gasping no- noise, and his eyes bulge horribly before he just collapses onto the stump. Uh, now roll your miscast. A five. Another mutant. <laughs> Which sign? The yeah. next living creature born with an... Oh, man, you're creating a problem. What the fuck is wrong with you, Cole? <laughs> All right, so... Uh, That's the guy that did it first. Your 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 magic goes off... No, no, Cole did it first. I was just really excited. Yeah, I it. did it first. Yeah, yeah your, your magic there. seems to go off without a hitch, but something disturbing happens somewhere in the mi- somewhere in the wilds. So, so we've created two mutants. This is, this is going to backfire on us. Just, just think, you know, it's like... 10, maybe 15 years, we'll be gone from here by then, so it won't but be our problem. <laughs> someone, someone's gonna, yeah, this is a talk for, the I next guess we don't know, right? It's just gonna be dealing with all the old mutants. <laughs> <laughs> I meant well, the parents the might be mad. Of two new Vermintide DLCs. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Hold well, on, I have to make a note on Cold's page. Spawner of mutants. <laughs> Servant of Zeech. There's yes. no way we don't run into a parent who's like, yeah, my kid's mutant. You're fucking, you're making, it. you're making Morger look bad, man. <laughs> the level of mutations coming out here. <laughs> All right. Uh, Gabos. Um, then kind of, uh, when, when your lightning comes out and it kills the one that was on the stump, uh, the remaining goblins all suddenly get in an uproar, um, chattering at each other in a language none of you understand. An yeah. angry uproar or a terrifying uproar? Like it's, it's hard to tell the difference. Okay. Fail. Uh, what's their cool check? <laughs> fail. Uh, fail. 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 Ooh, a pass. There's another fail. There's a pass. And there's a fail. Alright, so the this goblin who was near the stunt, already wounded as he is, he lets out a uh, horrified squawk and throws his weapons down and just runs into the forest. Uh, quickly disappearing among the trees. As you notice, these goblins have covered themselves in various muds and strange colors that actually make them blend in very well with the trees. Uh, this uh, goblin archer immediately performs a climb check. Which he... Where's climb? Climb 33. But he gets plus... You get plus... Okay. Plus... 30? Yeah. So he makes it down, but he gets out of this tree. This one... Gets out of this tree. That one's fine. That one... Uh, 65. Oh, nope, he falls. So he tries to get out of the tree and then falls screaming and plummeting to his death. Huzzah. Uh, these two goblins. He's fine. Oh, okay. Neither of them are afraid of you. Um, this one, uh, this one is afraid of you. And this one also failed his... So that one leaves. This goblin, though, uh, down here has had it. And he clearly uh, blames his fellows for it. And as he runs by the goblin that fell out of the tree, he viciously stabs the creature multiple times, even though it's already dead, steals two things from its belt, and vanishes into the forest. <laughs> and then a wave of arrows come uh, flying towards you, wizard. No. Uh, maybe? Oh, no. One whizzes right by your face. And then you get hit by another one. <laughs> uh, you take... Do I have to do an endurance check again? Yes, you do. Uh, you take another shot to your... Right arm, and it does seven damage again. Fuck. And you got spider venom in your veins. (laughs) 
But you're fine. This is nothing. Nice. <laughs> this poison's weak compared to the plants you casually cut yourself on while navigating I, the wilds of Ethel. Can I gain immunity to this poison so I have to take any more of these checks? Nice try. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if it was in that one, maybe. And the other goblins uh, are too afraid to approach you. Verstat, you're up. Uh, Verstat will move up next to Verve. Oh, wait, never mind. This one's can't... not afraid. He's going to run at you guys, but he can't make it far enough to charge. And then this one... Uh... Oh, he overcomes his fear. Good for you. Okay, so these guys are just going to come hurtling towards you guys, screaming, Wah! All right, as I am uh, walk towards to move next to Verve, I uh, see Wrist behind the stump and uh, just yell some encouragement. Come on, Wrist! You got this! You gotta help the team! And then I will cast Flame Spike at this archer down here. Okay. And they are all out of the trees now. Oh, wait, no, except this one. This one's still up in the tree. Never mind. Forgot about them. <sighs> Lord, spare me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Plus three for the willpower. They're making up for all the bad. All right, so you get to hit one addition. You get to hit with one additional goblin. I'll do the uh, guy in front, closest to us. All right, so shouting out once more, the winds of magic are spiraling in a tornado around you and the elf, which of course no one else can detect, but the two of you can feel yourselves drip. This is a great spot to be casting magic. And you thrust out both of your hands, and a bolt of flaming light comes from both of them and slams into the goblins before you. Uh, this one will take... Let's see, three... What's your willpower? Three? Three, yeah. Six. So, six damage total. Okay, this one uh, throws his shield up in the way of it, and it seems to absorb the brunt of the damage. Um, and he kind of, like, cackles at you, despite the fact he's clearly a little wounded. This one is not so fortunate, because he is not holding a shield. And uh, the magic comes arcing back and slams into him, and he... It's fine. Uh, he wavers slightly on the branch, but quickly darts uh, safely to another one and uh, screeches at you in anger. Drac. Uh, Drac is going to... Uh, I can't charge, but I'm just going to run over to these goblins and just stand in their face, and then... Okay. Uh, so something through the guards of not so, uh, not so many friends left, eh? Okay. Uh, let's see. Your movement three, so you can run up to twenty four. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Um. Wrist. The goblins are right, uh, will, being wiped out. I will gallantly now step forward. <laughs> now that there's a dwarf uh, in behind. Am I in range? No, I'm too far away. Um, remember, I will yell insults at them. Remember, long range is up to double the listed range. And long range is just a minus ten. Ooh. The, the dwarf is not close enough to either of them to count as in combat. Okay. Yeah, then I will chuck a rock at the nearest goblin. Okay. Minus ten... That's that's gonna be a no, dog. Uh, <laughs> uh, you move sure. forward, and is that a fumble? Or yes. That, okay. So you it's you just the name of it. You, the, the name of the rock. Yeah, the rock of justice. Fight well, your ass. yeah. Let's let's see just how justicey this rock is. So roll a d100 as we see precisely what happens as you whip the rock heroically around your head to strike down your enemies, and you get a 55. Your maneuver was misjudged. Oh, okay. So, um, you, uh, as you run forward, you get so caught up in the, 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 the rare moments of bravery in your life you get to have as a halfling against something as terrifying as goblins that you reali didn't realize that your rock was placed in the sling wrong. And as you whip it around your head, one of the snaps just kind of awkwardly snaps out undone. And the weapon isn't harmed, but it will take you a minute to retie it properly to get a really nice shot with it. You take a minus 10% penalty to your next action. So, so Tech, I don't have a sling. I'm throwing a rock with my fist. Oh! <laughs> well, in that case, 
Uh, you just. Trip. How I, many I, fingers do I break attempting to throw a rock? Uh, I'm gonna say that you threw the rock in a bad way. That you had a hangnail you didn't really notice, and it kind of tears as the rock collides with it, and you're kind of sitting there in fair agony for a minute, even though you're not actually wounded. Um, so you'll suffer a minus 10 to your next action as you cradle your hand in pain. Verv, you're up. Oh, I was expecting him to, like, trip and then throw the rock at his own foot. Well, that would have been nice, but that would have required him to roll much lower. I will... Um... I'm getting nervous about miscasts. Um... Why? You're just creating a, <laughs> you know, brand new legion in the area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's someone else's problem. It's not like you're going to be around when the, all those <laughs> those mutants grow up, right? Uh... <laughs> There's not that many of them, so feel free to whack them with a stick. This is, this is true. Yeah, I'm actually going to move up next to uh, the dwarf and swing. Okay. Uh, with your long reach, that will be close enough, yeah. Uh, do I get any bonus? Nope. No? Yeah. Uh, well, it would count as a charge, so sure. Okay. You get one advantage for charging. Oh, well, what do I do? <laughs> Good question. Roll a d100. A 96. You completely mess up as you as you run forward, prepared to swing at the goblin. You trip awkwardly over your own staff, not used to actually having to exert yourself in melee, tending to just prefer to range on your lightning. And the dwarf, completely oblivious to you coming up behind him, lets out a angered growl as a quarterstaff comes cracking into the back of his head. What's your uh, strength bonus? Uh, my strength bonus. Or what's the damage bonus for your staff? So the damage plus strength bonus. Uh, damage total is because I don't I don't I put it in automatically. So my strength bonus is uh, four. Oh, okay. You you have it right there. Damage eight. Uh, so dwarf, you take or sorry, she hits you in the right leg as she trips. Dwarf, while you're trying to deal with the goblins, the elf. As far you're not sure, uh, you hear the elf stumbling behind you, only moments later to feel her quarterstaff come thwacking into your right leg, and you take 12 damage. Ow! That hurts more than the goblins. That's going in the book. Clearly, she's trying to. Oh, you know what? Uh, take a um, animosity check. Or not animosity, <laughs> whatever the other one is. Gods. And give it a. Uh, minus 20. Your racism check. I forget what it's called. Tolerance. Or prejudice. Prejudice. Okay. There it is. Yeah. Oh. She did it on purpose. You feel 100% certain in that. Son of a fucker, Rocky! Uh, the goblins, taking advantage of the confusion, stab forward at the two of you. Though they do need to move closer, because you have... Uh, this goblin is going to step in range of your quarterstaff, Elf, so it will be harder to hit him with it, because he's going to get in nice and close before he tries to shank you with his spear, but he misses. And this one will attack the dwarf, and he hits. So dwarf, you can... Oh, wait, y'all have to roll parries. Yes. Uh, oh, could I, have... I couldn't have parried the stupid... No, uh, you didn't see it coming. So, uh, sorry, uh, I need a parry check from both of you guys. Or a dodge. Whichever you want. Oh, then I would do a uh, dodge. And I God lost my advantage because I, I got whacked it. by the elf. That is correct. Alright, so dwarf, uh, elf, you're fine. That goblin missed by a mile. Um, actually, wait. Minus three? Well, you would have done dodge instead, right? What's yeah. your, what's your dodge? Uh, dodge is a, um, 46, so I wouldn't have done dodge. So my parry is that high? Why is your parry that high? 
Do you have advantage? Is that why? Yes. Okay. You have a plus 20 in there somewhere. So, yeah, 60. Well, he should be getting plus 10 for defensive for the quarterstaff. Oh, so plus, so another 10. Okay, so in that, okay, in that case, then the goblin did not hit you. Barely. Um, Drac, though, you, uh, your hit in the right arm, and you will take... So you got a minus two. He got a plus one. So that's three. A difference of three plus his damage. Seven. You take ten damage to your right arm. And if that causes a wound, you need an endurance check to resist poison. But if you have a buckler, remember that counts as armor. Yep, I know. I because of the elf, I am now below half elf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, you're not poisoned though. You're too tough for these little, these little bastards. And then the remainder are going to fire arrows at that melee because they sense weakness and they can't help themselves. So they will get a massive bonus to hit. Uh, however, they are shooting without discretion for who they hit. So they'll be getting plus twenties, but they are firing at long range. That's one arrow that's going to hit somebody. That uh, totally missed. And that arrow hit somebody. So I'll do it as... Um, uh, let's do it as... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Dwarf, you eat an arrow. And then a goblin eats an arrow to the back. Um, Alright, so dwarf, you're hitting the front with an arrow that will do... 8 damage to your chest. I do not take any fucking damage from that one. Alright, the arrow slams into your armor and then just snaps apart as the flimsy woodwork is clearly no match for your your dwarven exterior. The goblin uh, beside you is not so fortunate as <laughs> a uh, arrow slams into his back so he will not get his shield armor and he takes uh, two, nine, minus... He takes some pretty serious damage, and then he needs an endurance check for poison. Uh, and he passes. Good for him. All right, Vertstat, you're up. Um, all right, hold on. Thank, thanks, thanks to the elf's clumsiness, things are looking a little dire for your buddies over there. You should have just kept birthing mutants, Cold. <laughs> <laughs> Verstat will move up and then flame spike this archer down here. Okay. Wow. All right. Pick two more goblins. Um, I'll pick the two in melee range. All right. So you throw out your hands. Once more, as the winds of magic are now entirely under your control, and fire out another wave of flame that scorches its way through the goblins. The one in the tree, uh, which, uh, your willpower level is a three, so that's four. Three is seven. One is four. Yeah, eight, so seven damage. Three. three. Then he needs to test to stay in the tree. He's fine. Uh, and then the two in melee are both going to take a very ugly hit to the back as the magic dart slams into them. So that's seven. That goblin, the goblin in front of Drac is looking super not good. Uh, as the dart hits him, he like lurches forward and he is, his entire body seems to almost deflate drooping, but he is still standing. And then this one takes... All right, Drac, you're up. Drac's gonna murder something. Um, there's a very not look. There's a there's a pretty easy target right in front of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Uh, uh, you win. So you you got minus two. He's at minus three. So you get plus one to your damage. So eight damage. Eight damage. You bring your axe slicing around and you imagine it to be the elf and it lends you enough strength to just cleave his head clean off the uh, drac is listing off some uh, some very interesting facts about the uh, about the elf's parentage right at about this moment wrist 
Um, quick question, so, Tech. Is it possible to run, to do the athletics check for your move to try to go faster, or is that only for your action? Say that again? Uh, for your move, can you do the athletics tech test? No, to try no, to that go is... Farther? Only no. action. Yeah, so you can you can move up to 24 yards unless you use an action. 